Hi everybody and welcome to another author interview at In-House Publishing and joining me today is Jenny Old. Hello Jenny, how are you? Hi Ocean, I'm really well today, thank you. Excellent, excellent. Today we're going to be talking about her book McAllister. So let's find out what all this is about. Jenny, tell us, what is McAllister? McAllister is the name of the property where Rick and I spent our first 18 years of marriage. It's situated up in the remote northern Gulf country of Queensland. 234 square miles in size, which is small for golf standards, and it was a, a blank uh, canvas. There was nothing on this property when we moved there. So McAllister is a property that we developed in the following 18 years. Wow, wow, that's um, quite a shift in lifestyle. It must have been pretty um, in your face in the adjustments that you had to make. <laughs> You could say that, having been brought up in the Riverina and just returning from 12 months overseas, it was a big change. Right. What would inspire you to write a book about something like this? Um, it started, uh, we didn't have a, a telephone the entire time we were up there. We had a two-way radio and our mail service was erratic due to impassable roads in the wet season. So I hand wrote letters to both our families every week and both mothers kept those letters. So when my mother handed me this bunch of letters, all out of order, I thought I'd compile them and then write something for the family. But she said, why don't you write a book? It's a unique story. And that got me thinking and I thought, yes, my story needs to be shared. Well, that's phenomenal. What a, great, what a great way to actually embark on a creative process like this. Um, as, a, as a true autobiography, as a memoir of your life, uh, there's a lot of people that we mentioned in this. Do they know about it? Have they read it? What are you, what's, what's the um, story there? Ocean, there are so many characters and people that crossed our lives up there. So I haven't mentioned uh, the majority, but the ones I have mentioned, um, they're aware that I'm writing my story, so they're aware they're in it, but they don't know what I've written. But I know they won't be disappointed because it's an honest recount of, of them as characters. Awesome. That's awesome. What about the general readers? What, what do you want the general population to take away from this book? What's the message? I think it's a message of, um, of being young, enthusiastic, the total joy of life. I had no idea what that area was going to deliver to me. I had no idea what tomorrow was going to bring. But every day it was the joy of discovery, I suppose, of getting up and the enthusiasm of dealing with whatever it did deal me. And also I think I'd like to share the important role of, of the women in the bush because I know that Rick couldn't have done what he did without my support and my role. And I think sometimes that's understated. Mm -hmm. I, I, I would say so, and I think Rick would be the first person to acknowledge that. He is, he is. <laughs> Very much so. Okay, so what's what's next? Like you obviously got a plan to take this up to McAllister, um, and we've spoken a fair bit over recent weeks about uh, the travelling that you're going to be doing. How about we share that? What, what have you got on the horizon? Um, yes, I'm very excited and a good excuse to go back to the country that we love. Um, at the end of August we're planning a trip back to Cloncurry, which was our basic centre, to John Flynn Place um, to do a launch um, and it'll be lovely to be back with all those familiar people. And on the way up of course there are many museums, there are many like the Stockman's Hall of Fame that I'd like to call into and hopefully do a book signing or do something to share my story there. And I'm also doing a book launch in Deneliquin on the 6th of October, my old home country town, where all of my family are still there and many of my nursing friends. So that will be fun. And I've got a couple of local presentations at Rotary Clubs on the Gold Coast, so I'm hoping to do more of those and just spread the message. That's fantastic because this is, even though it's your autobiography, this is a piece of Australian history that I think should be spread around the country. So on that note, um, I think it's, it's the right time to actually acknowledge what you've achieved for the last three, four weeks, years obviously. But what we, uh, we take pride in in-house publishing is authors owning the marketing process and, and grabbing the tools and the strategies that we give you guys and make it work for you. Um, primarily to make sales either before the books are actually printed or right at that moment. And I get the phone calls, the texts, the emails from you guys saying how it's going. And I want to say congratulations on the awesome sales numbers you guys have achieved over the last week. It's been fantastic. Thank you. It's been very exciting. And I couldn't have done it without in-house publishing and your input and your help. Your mentorship 
has led me on a journey that is new to me and it's exciting and you've helped me every step of the way of how to be professional about this and I'm really thrilled, thank you. It's a lot of fun and we do this together and I'm glad that mentorship is having that effect because I feel it is the one thing that, that was needed in this industry is to have that support and guidance going into marketing and now look, you're going to be travelling around the country talking I about know, this. it's exciting, thank you. <laughs> right, well now it's your guys' turn. So if you'd like to get a copy of McAllister, the website that's behind us, and across the screen, that's where you can go get a copy, jennyold.com. It's also available at the in-house bookstore and, of course, on Amazon. Thanks very much for coming in, Jenny. Thank you, Ocean. Thank you, and thank you. Enjoy the book. Awesome. See you guys soon. Bye.